What is ABG and why it's done? Arterial blood gases or ABG is a standard measure of metabolic and respiratory disorders as it gives clues about the gases in the blood such as carbon dioxide and oxygen. What is the purpose of an arterial blood gas test? An arterial blood gas test may be requested by the doctor to examine the lungs and breathing for serious conditions including asthma, cystic fibrosis, or COPD etc. Examine how well your lung treatments are working. To examine whether you require additional oxygen or other breathing assistance. To make sure your acid-base balance is in order. Kidney failure, a serious illness, particular hazardous ingestions, or diabetes problems can all cause too much acid in your body. In this topic we will discuss different component of ABG. So, let's get started. Here are different components of ABG or arterial blood gas. 1. pH, 2. PaO2, 3. PaCO2, 4. HCO3, last SpO2. Let's discuss about each of them. First pH. The pH measures hydrogen ions in blood. The pH of blood is usually between 7.35 and 7.45. A pH of less than 7.0 is called acid and a pH greater than 7.0 is called basic or alkaline. So blood is slightly basic. Next, the partial pressure of oxygen, PaO2. This measures the pressure of oxygen dissolved in the blood and how well oxygen is able to move from the airspace of the lungs into the blood. The partial pressure of carbon dioxide, PaCO2. This measures the pressure of carbon dioxide dissolved in the blood and how well carbon dioxide is able to move out of the body. Bicarbonate, HCO3. Bicarbonate is a chemical buffer that keeps the pH of blood from becoming too acidic or too basic. Next, oxygen content, O2CT or oxygen saturation, SpO2, values. O2 content measures the amount of oxygen in the blood. Now when we understand the basic components of ABG, we will move forward with the ABG analysis and clinical significance along with the diagnostic approach. In the next topic, we will discuss the partial pressure of oxygen in blood or PaO2 and respiratory failure along with diagnostic approach to ARDS. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.